What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to tap your WA6570 in wall speakers. Now before we dive in, because these are 70 volt speakers, let me quickly explain how 70 volt systems work. 70 volt amplifiers like the one we have over here allow you to run a large amount of speakers at a fixed and constant wattage. So you could run over 100 speakers off this one 70 volt amplifier as long as you match the watts being drawn by the speakers to the ability of the amp. So for example, if the amplifier has 100 watts, I can tap each speaker at 10 watts, giving me the ability to use 10 speakers. For these in particular, we're able to tap the speakers by looking under the grill here, and then you're gonna see this dial that's gonna allow you to tap the speakers. So we can tap these speakers at five watts, 10 watts, 20 watts, or 40 watts, depending on the setup that we wanna have with our 70 volt amplifier. There's also an 8 ohm tap if you wanted to use these speakers with a standard stereo system. And there's also an off tap to turn off the speaker altogether. Now, if you use these speakers with a multi-zone amplifier, this opens up the flexibility of where you can control your audio and how you can set up the space in each room. But the same principles will apply, so you have to match the wattage amount of your speakers to the recommended wattage amount of each zone. And the benefit of this is that you have multiple speakers set up in multiple rooms and you have independent volume control of these rooms through your amplifier. If you want to learn more about 70 volt technology, check out our video on what is 70 volt. So after you've made the hole in your wall, you can take this time to take your speaker wire that's going to connect to your speakers and to your amplifier for a nice clean look. For this, we also recommend making a small hole by your amplifier so you can snake the wire through and have that nice organized look while the speaker wire is running from your speaker to your amplifier. Now, we also recommend using CL rated CL2 speaker wire that looks like this, and you can find plenty of options on that on our Rockville website. We actually recommend connecting the speaker wire to your speaker before you fully go to mount it. So you can take the speaker wire that's hanging from your wall and plug it into the red and black terminals here on the back of your speaker. So you'll plug the red end into the red terminal and the black end into the black terminal. Now, if you plan on running multiple speakers to your amplifier, you can wire the speakers together through parallel wiring. Parallel wiring just means that you're connecting the positive and negative terminals from one speaker to the positive and negative terminals to another speaker. The best way to do that is by taking each end of your speaker wire and twisting them just like this. So we're gonna do that for the red wire and we're doing that for the black wire as well. So then we're gonna take the two conjoined ends and connect them to our first speaker with the red going into the positive terminal and the black going into the negative terminal. Then you can take the other ends and plug them into the positive and negative terminals of the next speaker. Then to set up even more speakers, you can repeat this process all the way down your chain until you connect it to the output or one of the zones on your amplifier. So the next thing we can do is tap our speakers so we know how much power we want them to draw from the amplifier. To do that, you can take one of the included metal coins and fit that inside of the slot here by the tap. And from here, you're able to twist the dial to the desired tap. You'll also notice these two arrows here along the taps, and this is just to signify whether it's being used with 70 volt or 100 volt. So this bottom arrow represents the 70 volt, and this top arrow here represents the 100 volt. For today, we're gonna tap these speakers at 40 volts so that they're drawing the most power from the amplifier. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to tap your WA6570 in wall speakers. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.